Okay, you've got a big hearing and your divorce coming up and you are nervous as hell about testifying. You should be, it's a big deal. I always tell my clients that you are your best witness. So you carry a lot of responsibility as the party testifying on your own behalf in your case. So how do you testify? We got three short rules. One, be brief. Two, don't exaggerate. And three, don't argue with pieces of paper. Let me explain. Be brief. The biggest um, thing that, that people do when they're testifying that messes them up and gets them caught up on cross-examination and gets a judge irritated with them is they talk too much. Be brief. It's hard to do when you're nervous. I tell people 100 words or less. Here's an example. How did you get to the store to get groceries? Answer, I drove my car. That's all you need to say. We don't need to know what you bought. We don't need to know what traffic was like. We don't need to know who went with you. The question was, how did you get there? I drove my car. Two, don't exaggerate, all right? Exaggeration is the same thing as lying and you're gonna get caught up on it and you're gonna make bad evidence for yourself. So, um, you know, um, an example, um, the difference between um, my husband is emotionally abusive to me and the children, which may be true, um, but if it's not, if what you mean is, my husband yells a lot when he watches football games. Those are different things uh, and you'll get caught up on it, so don't exaggerate. And the third one, this one drives me insane, don't argue with pieces of paper. If an opposing party, opposing counsel hands you an email where you've said something nasty and you're embarrassed or it's a photograph in your home that maybe is not showing you in the best light, don't argue with it. It's, it shows what it shows. That's what your lawyer is for to help you manage it. Just look at it and say, yes, I said that. Yes, that picture is accurate. Move on. Don't explain it. If you're explaining, you're losing.